Hey guys, I um, let me let me help you with number eleven a little bit. Bill's off. This is number eleven on page. Um, the, the problem that we're doing uh, is from actually it's on page. Um, it's billing off of the page. It's on page two fifty four, uh, number eleven on for our lab that builds off of number 20 with it all right so uh, a few things we want to look at uh, before i before i help you with this thing uh, just to reiterate some of the stuff with it if you recall the uh, the problem number 20 on page um on, on in chapter two asks you gives you all these identifiers with this thing so you got all your um io stream of course we're dealing with uh, one of the things i left out in this thing is include what I am a nip, okay. This is your formatting anytime you deal with money with this thing. These are your identifiers that, that I would reckon that I extracted from the problems with it. It goes into your global settings with this thing. You're um, you're gonna be working like five weeks and during the summer, so you're gonna get all of your pay and your hours work and for each week with it. Your data uh, types is all double because you're dealing with money right now. I broke it down to the total number of hours worked, your income, your net income, cost of uh, accessory clothes, and cost of your school's supply, cost of your savings bond, and the cost of your from your parents with it. And then there's actually the net income with this thing. So my, my key thing is in this problem that if you look at it, you're going to prompt the user for getting them to number of hours of work for a week with it, week one, week two, week three, week four. I'm not too concerned about the calculation in this thing. The key thing in these problems in chapter four is the structure in this thing. So you prompt the, you got all these setting up with it. You can come down here, you can prompt them for the number of hours week work, one, two, three, four. Store that into the memory with it. You have five, five hours, uh, five weeks that you worked with. These are the five weeks. That's going to be stored into your total hours work. That should be identified as up here as your total hours work up here. And then you come down and you're gonna take your total hours work and your pay rate. That's your total income. Okay. Welcome to the real world here. So you're gonna take the total income, multiply it with, of course, why do you take one, subtract it with the taxes? That's a percent. Remember that? So your identifier up here is your tax up here is 0.4. Okay, so it's 14% tax. So you take that, you subtract that one from four, and that's this is you know, so you should have like what, 86? 0.86 left on this thing so you multiply with your income that's your net income with this thing so that's subtracting the income you gotta take your net income this is this net income is this net income that you're going to subtract that from your percentage of what you use as identifier as your clothes and accessory your clothes and accessory is actually one percent or ten percent I should say I'm sorry ten percent in this thing so you have your ten percent that you subtract out of this thing so you calculate all this stuff down to it. This is how much you have. Number four, all right, part A, why is it number four? Number 11, I should say, right? So number four, this is number 11. Um, part four prompts the user. This is the part that's different, part A. You want to prompt the, uh, the, the if you do not spend the money on buying savings bond because you have a summary job, your parents buy savings bond for you in the amount of 1% of the money that you save after paying tax with this thing. So you need to enter, your get your parents to enter the savings bond. And this is the new identifier. This is the new part in this thing is that you're going to actually take in as the new income buying savings, savings bond with this thing. Now, of course, there's three. There's A, B, and C. One is you do not spend. Remember the structure. It's similar, similar to the one that we had. Was is the number zero? Is the number positive or the number negative with this thing? Same thing. Same structures that you're going to come across. Is the number zero? Is the number in another range? Or if it's not, you're going to do this range with it. So this is the structure that I would I would use for this. This is this is basically on number 11. What you're looking at is this right here with it. Now I don't care about the 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 mathematical calculation right now with this. Okay, so you got to do the uh, the calculation in this thing. So if you look at this problem, right. Uh, you need to look at it from a point of view where, uh, first of all, the cost of the savings bond okay, needs to be initialized with this thing. So the cost of the saving bonds okay, uh, needs to be at zero. 
Okay, so you got you have to initialize this thing. After that, you come down here. If the savings bond that you divide by a hundred is less than the savings bond with this thing, what do you want to do here, right here? Well, basically, what do you have to do? You have to take the cost of the savings bond uh, is now equal to the net income. Multiply that with your net income savings bond with this thing. Hold on. Let, let me get this on. On. I'm going to hold this for a second. Okay. Uh, I went back in here. I'm not too concerned about the calculation of this thing, but the more important is it's the structure of this if, if else, and else. It's similar to that same, that first problem that we're doing is the number zero. Is it a positive number? Is it a negative number? That type of same structure with it. So is this savings bond equal to value to zero? Is it less than the savings bond? If so, do this calculation else if your savings bond is this then you're going to do this calculation with it and lastly you need to output uh, these variables that you have to the screen with it so I'm going to let you do the C out with that as well okay so that concludes number 11